What if your kids could find buried treasure right in the classroom? Now, a history teacher in the DeSoto School District allows his kids to do just that in his classroom packed full of 50,000 artifacts. When you think of a classroom, you likely think of this rows of desks with a whiteboard on one wall. But what if your child's classroom looked like this? Everything tells a story. If you choose to share the story, then you have to figure out how are you going to tell it the best way. Kyle Heilman teaches at Monticello Trails Middle School, and over the past 25 years, he's used artifacts to reshape the way his students see the world. When you and I were growing up and we saw stuff in textbooks, you see a picture, you see a description, it doesn't come alive. I tell stories, but the artifacts make it real. It's metal, it's heavy, it's cold, it's hard. Over 70% of the artifacts in Kyle's room have been donated. It started by accident. Kids started bringing stuff in and Heilman would put it on a shelf. Today, the artifacts don't just sit on shelves. They're buried in custom built desks for excavation. What you have on your desks, I'm just being honest, some of them took human lives. People traded these for human beings. In a normal history class, you don't see this kind of stuff. You read it from a book and then you get tested over it and then you just forget about it. By using these artifacts, we get more of a feeling of how these people live. People try to hide this. You know, they try to hide the other ones too. And you just, you can't run away from this. You just can't. No other class that I have taken has anything that is as hands-on. I want to make a room where they want to come and learn. Sometimes there are things happening in the house that, that make school not important. That's hard. For some of my kids, school is the safest place to be. I want to make a room where they want to come and discover what they're excited about. Excited and encouraged to never look at the world the same way again. Have a great day, and I will pass more artifacts around on Monday while we finish. Now this May uh, will mark Kyle Heilman's 25th year in the classroom. And yesterday he told us he's heard from teachers across the country that want to start a similar classroom as well as people who want to donate artifacts. If you know of a teacher who's doing unique things, email us newstips at kshb.com.